Welcome everyone, today I'm going to take you through the new version of the LastPass workflow for Alfred app on OS X. Uh, this is to coincide with the release of version 1.2 of the workflow, uh, which has some major changes uh, that we should go through just to keep you in the loop. So, uh, if you'd like to come and visit the official GitHub page where you can log any issues uh, that you're having with the workflow or any feedback or suggestions, you can do this by going to this URL right here, which is stew.link forward slash ALF LPAS git. That's stew.link forward slash ALF LPAS git. Uh, and if you would like to visit the official Alfred Forum community post, you can do so at this address, which is stew.link forward slash ALF LPAS post. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, when you download the new workflow, um, and in the case of this demonstration, I'm going to assume that it hasn't been installed before, but when you download the new workflow and you install it, there's a couple of things you need to do before its initial use. So now that we have the uh, workflow installed, uh, we can uh, get on with it. So the first thing you need to do is use LP set email, which is the new command to set the email address, which now stores it in the Apple uh, keychain as a secure uh, means of storage. So you enter your email address, and that's as easy as proverbial pie. So the next thing you can do is you can actually set the custom timeout command. And this is this command right here, LP set timeout. What you can do is you can actually set a custom integer of a number of seconds on how long you would like the command uh, to leave you logged in for before uh, it automatically logs you out. If you set a number of seconds, uh, the default is 28800. Uh, however, you can also opt to set zero, which means it'll actually disable the automatic logout and won't log you out until you restart your computer. That's entirely up to you, and the, the command will default to 28800 seconds if nothing else has been set. So now that's been done, we can actually log in. What this will do is this will bring up your shell uh, to log you in. And it also, as you note right here, will do an automatic synchronization. What we've actually done is I've disabled the synchronization each time you load uh, up a command such as this um, to drastically speed things up. And also I had a few users that logged issues uh, with regards to extremely large vaults, which were taking a long time to synchronize. So what we now do is every time you log in, uh, it will force a synchronization and uh, it won't do it again until you either log out or log in. And what you can also do is you can also use LP Sync to force a custom, uh, sorry, to force a uh, refreshed synchronization via Vault. And that'll help those of you out who have extremely large vaults. And by extremely large, we're talking over two to 3,000 items in the vault. Uh, so now that uh, we're logged in, you can just do a search for uh, what you'd like. Um, here we've got my ACS account. Um, I can hit enter and what that'll do is that'll automatically copy the password into my clipboard. What you can also do is you can use the shift key modifier and simply copy the username uh, into the clipboard and uh, that makes life very easy to get uh, get into your vault. A couple of things to note, um, there we do have a ticket logged with the LastPass team uh, to have a look at some new flags on the LastPass command which should make things a little bit more flexible and hopefully a little bit more stable for us. Uh, the other thing you need to be aware of is at the moment if you require a the re-entry of your master password on any uh, item you won't actually be able to load it via this mechanism because there isn't currently a easy way to get the master password halfway through uh, actually grabbing uh, some commands out of the LastPass CLI. Uh, I am uh, keeping on top of that and working with the LastPass team and hopefully we'll have something uh, something for that in future. Uh, but uh, that's a brief overview of the new features of version 1.2. Uh, please don't hesitate to drop me a line uh, either through the official forum post, which that's the URL right below there again, uh, or otherwise over at the official GitHub repository, and uh, I look forward to receiving your feedback. Thank you.